So what can people attending Defending the Caveman with their partner expect from your show? Well, I think the nice thing about the show is that it appeals to to everyone. I mean, it's literally people who've just started dating. We had a couple in our last run who were there on a blind date. So their very first encounter. Oh, Man, wow. to come to the theater. A, I think that's brave. What a blind date. What a blind date. They skipped the coffee and it went right, <laughs> right into the yeah, learning yeah, mode. Yeah. Uh, but then we also had a couple celebrating their 57th wedding anniversary. Yeah. And that was interesting because we got a chance to kind of talk to them in the show. And I said, well, what's the, what have you, what's the kind of most important lesson? And the man just went, always be wrong, let her be right. And I thought, that's quite <laughs> sweet. Um, so, and, and in, anything in between. You know, we've had divorced couples. We've had couples who've just broken up. We've had couples who are just happy together. And even people who are not in relationships because essentially you'll recognize the behavior in your parents or in your yeah. siblings or in your friends. So it really is a show that at some point during the performance, you're going to relate to two or three things and go, oh my goodness, that's me or that's my parents or I, I'm not like that. Yeah. I mean, there are things in the show that I'm, I'm the exact opposite. I don't mind shopping, actually. I, I, I quite like shopping. Really? Yeah. Oh. But that's, I'm also a performer. So it's a, and a different, you know what I mean? I'm, a different subtext, different context. Yeah. I guess. But what do you shop for? You said you only have one shirt and one pair of pants. Yes. And no space. I'm a DVD man. I love books. Um, you see, I can't. And I'm, I'm one of those people who has to possess the thing. Like I might not Me watch too. it, but I'm, I must have the I DVD. I want to have it, and I want you know to say I, mean? I have it, and it's going to be displayed very exactly, nicely. Exactly, <laughs> but you've never read it or seen it. Yeah, that's me as well. So, um, so yeah, there's things, it, which is nice, it encourages a debate. So an audience member can expect to come along, first of all, have a good laugh. That's the most important thing. It's an entertaining show. But secondly, there's a kind of nice cathartic moment where you're sitting in an audience, and suddenly you realize there are 300 other people laughing at the same thing, which means that you're not alone. You might have thought, oh, we have this problem as a couple. Yeah. Well, in fact, you know, there's you know, 200 other couples who are experiencing the exact same thing or variations of it. And I think that's quite a nice thing as well. So there's a sense of community that, that develops. But, uh, but most important, come along and have a good, good giggle. So it's a very interactive show. Uh, Not really. A little bit of both. I, I play the show as it was originally presented, which was as a stand-up version. Yeah. There, there are versions now in this country, uh, there's an Afrikaans version, and, and the way Tim played it, they played it more like a one-man uh, theatre show. Okay. Uh, where they focused on the characters, and it's not that I don't do that, but I do, my stand-up roots kind of make me want to interact with the audience. Yeah. So I have two or three places where I literally open it up and ask people, and they don't have to, obviously, but if they've got something to, to share or shout out, they can. And that's always brilliant, because every night it's a little different. And What's the craziest thing someone's ever shouted out to you? Um, we, well, last night was... Uh, I'll tell you what, because I asked the question, what's the most difficult thing for a couple to do together? Mm -hmm. And so people say things like fishing and shopping and driving and uh, cooking. Those are all fine. And then someone will say something like driving a tandem bicycle. Now, I've great. always wanted to drive a tandem apparently, bicycle. Apparently, I've not done it myself, but apparently it's very difficult. And it's all about synchronicity and balance and uh, rhythm, which sounds like something else that we do together as well. Um, <laughs> so, so that was fascinating. And in last night, the most magnificent, slightly elderly lady, maybe in her late 60s, early 70s, put up her hand and this is what she said to me. I said, what's the most difficult thing for a couple to do together? And she said... When, when you buy a plant and it's half price, but then the, the bucky, and then you fill the plants with a bucky, and then he can't watch the rugby, so then that's when you get home earlier. So this is an example of what happens when tip becomes available in the Western Cape. You must say no to drugs. See, I had no idea. Those were all English words, but sadly none of them made sense to me. That's pretty crazy. Maybe she meant when you buy the plant, yeah. coincidentally it's half price. Right. You put it in the bucky. Right. You take it home. Now he must plant it so he can't watch rugby. Okay. You see, I like the way that you felt you had to explain. <laughs> yeah. Whereas You're men, we like, go, we don't understand. We're moving on. <laughs> We're done. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the show has had rave reviews and you obviously have some some people shouting things out like this yeah, great thing and, from and last night. Absolutely. And we have a lot of, you see it from the, I mean, I always say that it's the, the best view of the show is from the yeah. stage because you see the ribbing and the laughing and the, that's you or uh, that kind of conversation that happens. And obviously afterwards, sometimes I'll, you know, I'll be in the bar and have a drink and there'll be couples there who are also having drinks and then you'll hear their stories. Yeah. You know, someone will tell you, I had a guy who came in and said, I watched your show two years ago with my first wife. Now I'm back with my second <laughs> wife. I said, well, clearly the lessons haven't really been yeah. good. But yeah, so that fascinating dialogue continues yeah. all the time. 